It was a split decision for Jonathan today. The jury has found Jonathan Majors guilty of reckless assault in the third degree and guilty of harassment. The verdict was reached by a six-person jury after roughly four hours of deliberation spread across three days. Did not answer our question as he arrived holding his girlfriend Megan. The shocking news of Jonathan conviction has rocked the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Jonathan Majors, a Marvel star, has been found guilty of assaulting and harassing his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. As a result, Marvel Studios has cut ties with him and removed him from their upcoming projects. What happened in court? And is there any chance Jonathan can clear his name from here now? Let's go. The incident unfolded on March 25th, when Jonathan Majors and Grace Jabari were in a private car in New York City. The tensions escalated as Jabari took Majors' phone to read a text message from another woman, triggering a confrontation that would later become the focal point of the trial. According to Jabari's testimony, Majors attempted to forcefully retrieve his phone, leading to an altercation in the backseat. She described feeling a hard blow across her head, resulting in bruising swelling, and substantial pain. This alleged assault set the stage for the subsequent legal battle. As the situation intensified, Majors, according to accounts, exited the car and began running in the streets of New York. Jabari, in an attempt to address the unfolding chaos, chased after him. This dramatic scene added a layer of intensity to the narrative and became a crucial point of discussion during the trial. A noteworthy aspect of the case involves an incident where Jabari, following the altercation in the car, ended up lying on the floor of a walking wardrobe. The details surrounding this specific moment, the location, and the events leading up to it could provide crucial context for the jury's decision. The driver, a key witness in the case, testified through an Urdu interpreter. His account added nuance to the proceedings, stating that Majors was not physically harming Jabari in the vehicle, but was actively trying to push her back into the car while attempting to exit. This testimony contributed to the complexities the jury had to navigate. The prosecution presented a series of disturbing texts and an audio recording as evidence during the trial. These included messages where Majors seemingly attempted to dissuade Jabari from seeking medical attention for her head wound, and a message where he allegedly threatened suicide during an argument. The prosecution argued that these elements highlighted manipulative and controlling behavior. Prosecutor Kelly Galloway framed the case as revolving around control, domination, manipulation, and abuse. She asserted that Majors employed tactics commonly associated with domestic violence throughout his two-year relationship with Jabari. The prosecution's narrative aimed to establish a pattern of behavior that culminated in the alleged assault. Majors' defense team, led by attorney Priya Chaudhry, vehemently denied the assault allegation. Chaudhry argued that Jabari was the aggressor in the vehicle and suggested that the accusations were fabricated as a form of retaliation following the breakup. The defense's case hinged on convincing the jury that Majors did not intentionally cause harm to Jabari. The trial concluded with the jury deliberating on the charges. Their requests for clarification on the definition of harassment in the second degree and a review of surveillance footage indicated the meticulous approach they took in assessing the evidence. The deliberations culminated in the mixed verdict, with majors found guilty on two counts but acquitted on others. The sentencing, scheduled for February 6th, adds another layer of uncertainty to Major's future. Depending on the outcome, he could face up to a year in jail or be sentenced to probation. The ramifications of the guilty verdict extend beyond the courtroom, affecting Major's personal and professional life. As we continue to dissect the intricate details of Jonathan Major's case, it becomes evident that the courtroom drama is just one facet of the broader narrative. The events leading to his guilty verdict, the specific moments in New York City, and the dynamics of his relationship with Grace Jabari form a complex tapestry that has left a lasting impact on both the individual and the entertainment industry as a whole. Marvel Studios' immediate decision to sever ties with Jonathan Majors upon the announcement of the guilty verdict marked a significant professional consequence. The studio, led by Kevin Feige, had to grapple with the challenge of reshaping the multiverse saga, a narrative arc that prominently featured Majors as Kang the Conqueror. This abrupt shift could potentially have costly repercussions, considering the interconnected nature of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The departure of Jonathan Majors forced Marvel executives into a creative dilemma. Discussions led by studio chief Kevin Feige reportedly explored options, such as recasting Kang or reconfiguring the entire multiverse saga. These decisions hold considerable weight, not only in terms of storytelling continuity, but also in managing the financial investments and expectations of fans. The broader backdrop of Major's guilty verdict is set against Disney's entry into a more cost-conscious era. Any adjustments made by Marvel in response to this incident, such as recasting or altering production schedules, could have financial implications for Disney. Navigating this delicate situation requires a strategic approach to maintain the integrity of the Marvel brand while managing potential losses. One 
Once one of the most sought-after actors in the industry, Jonathan Majors now faces severe repercussions for his career. Dropped by his talent manager, Entertainment 360, and his publicity firm, The Lee Company, Majors' professional relationships have unraveled. The uncertainty surrounding the release of Magazine Dreams and the removal of Creed 3 from Searchlight Pictures' schedule further underscore the challenges ahead for Majors. Beyond the professional realm, the guilty verdict has personal implications for Jonathan Majors. The legal battle, public scrutiny, and the breakdown of professional relationships contribute to a complex web of challenges. His defense team maintains faith in the process and expresses the actor's desire to clear his name fully, highlighting the personal toll this legal battle has taken on Majors. The trial brought forth emotional elements, particularly through audio recordings where Majors allegedly threatened suicide. The prosecution portrayed Majors as manipulative and controlling, using emotional tactics to assert dominance. This emotional aspect added a layer of intensity to the proceedings, shaping public perception and influencing the jury's deliberations. The jury's decision to find Majors guilty on two misdemeanor counts while acquitting him on others reflects the complexity of the case. The nuances of intent, recklessness, and the dynamics of the relationship were factors the jury had to carefully weigh. Their decision suggests a nuanced understanding of the circumstances and a recognition of elements where Majors may not have intentionally caused harm. Majors' defense team expressed disappointment with the verdict, emphasizing the jury's acknowledgement that Jabari's story lacked credibility in some aspects. The defense argued that despite not believing Jabari's account entirely, the jury found Majors to be reckless in his actions during the altercation. This contradiction in the verdict adds a layer of complexity to the legal aftermath. The defense's strategy involved challenging Jabari's credibility, labeling her as a liar who bends reality. They asserted that she was the aggressor in the vehicle and accused her of fabricating allegations as a form of retaliation after the breakup. The defense's narrative aimed to cast doubt on the authenticity of Jabari's claims and present Majors as a victim of false accusations. Several projects involving Jonathan Majors, including Spike Lee's Da Understudy for Amazon, and the Dennis Rodman film 48 Hours in Vegas for Lionsgate, remain in limbo. The uncertainty surrounding his legal situation has left these projects in a state of flux, awaiting decisions from studios and producers. The year 2023 started on a high note for Jonathan Majors, with significant projects like Creed Thwer and the critically acclaimed Magazine Dreams. However, the legal proceedings and subsequent guilty verdict have dramatically altered the trajectory of his career. The sudden fall from grace underscores the fragility of success in the entertainment industry. The public's perception of Jonathan Majors has undergone a seismic shift in light of the legal developments. Once celebrated for his talent and promising career, Majors now grapples with public scrutiny and the potential erosion of his fan base. The way audiences perceive him moving forward will be influenced by the ongoing legal saga and the decisions made by the entertainment industry. With Marvel Studios deciding to part ways with Jonathan Majors, the multiverse saga faces an uncertain future. The narrative arc, initially centered around Kang the Conqueror, now requires re-evaluation and potentially significant adjustments. The ripple effects of this decision extend beyond the legal realm, shaping the creative direction of one of the most expansive franchises in cinematic history. The impending sentencing on February 6 adds another layer of anticipation to the aftermath of the trial. Majors face the prospect of jail time or probation, depending on the judge's decision. The legal ramifications of the guilty verdict will reverberate through Majors' personal and professional life, determining the path ahead. Despite the trial's conclusion, unanswered questions linger. The events leading to the guilty verdict offer a glimpse into the tumultuous relationship between Jonathan Majors and Grace Jabari, yet certain aspects remain shrouded in mystery. As the legal saga unfolds, the public awaits further details, potential appeals, and the ultimate resolution of a chapter that has left an indelible mark on both the individual and the industry. 